Hi guys. And welcome to another league match. This time against Jimmy. This is my third match of the season and by the looks of it we only going to play four because Koi's dropped out of the league, so there are only five players left. So I have to play this one and then probably tomorrow I'm playing against E Hunt. And then the season will be finished for me. <coughs> it's a bit unfortunate for me that Koi's dropped out because um we partially played our match and I was leading three and a half a half. And now that doesn't count, but oh well. All right, I'm ready. He's not. Ah, he's ready. Let's go. All right. This looks like a powerful board to start things off. <clears throat> and I'm the first player. So we have basically everything you want except trashing. There's good draw in range and stables. And there's of course King's Court and Goons. You can trash with the mint if you get a good op opportunity, but it looks to me. Okay, there's also trading post, which I missed, but it's also not the greatest trashing ever. I don't see anything else than opening double silver. Ranger, opening ranger isn't great. So I just open double silver, and with my first five, if I hit five, do I get the trading post? <clears throat> Or do I just get the stables and don't bother with the trashing all that much? I guess I do get a trading post. <clears throat> yeah, and then you wanna just build forever and play Couple, couple of goons per turn. All right, so there it is. Five would be cool to hit double five, of course. Yeah, I think trading post is fine. Uh, unfortunately, no double five, but it's okay. So I have two silvers for the moment. I think I don't need much more than that right now. I will get them from the trading post. So I just guess I just buy a ranger here. <clears throat> um, yeah, I guess I get the ranger. It's also helpful to to hit seven. Um, if you flip the journey token face up. And here I buy stables. I hope that my ranger and my trading post don't glide, but even if they do, it's not the end of the world. So he gets the stables, so I get my stables. Oh, okay, they don't glide, they both miss the shuffle. That's, that sucks, of course. Don't really want to buy a second ranger here, then I have three terminals and um it's a bit much. I mean I know that two of the terminals are in the remaining four cards, so it's very unlikely that I draw this ranger when I buy it. So that would mean that I probably would draw the ranger somewhere in the shuffle and then I can just play it. Um, that might be an idea. Yeah, let's and let's actually do that. And yeah, okay. So here's 
the one ranger and no estate unfortunately but it's it's okay I will just trash I think and buy yeah sorry for that it's my usual error here um <clears throat> what do I buy I want to draft estates I mean, I'm thinking about if I maybe should just play the ranger here. Then if I draw it next turn, um, I'm basically guaranteed to hit 7. If I draw the other ranger, I mean. Hmm, I guess that's just better. And they also have a stables in there, so... Yeah, let's 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 rather play the ranger because I don't have any estates. Do I get even a third ranger? I mean, if I get my king's court going with the stables, it's it's all good. I can handle some terminals right now. It's a, yeah, I just I just do it anyway. Okay, so let's see what is left in my deck. It's one estate. Five coppers, and that's it. So, I guess I have to play the stables as well. Most likely, there is a copper bottom deck. Yeah. And I want to hit seven, of course. Or I might. I might get the mint, actually. If I just play the ranger here, then I either draw five coppers or four coppers and an estate, but I think I'm probably getting the mint like that, and now it should be yeah, six coppers. I'm not, I didn't hit seven, but it's a pretty nice mint turn. And now, I never draw the trading post with estates, but this is still a decent turn. I again play the ranger and buy stables and then I should be able to Oh okay, I forgot about that. Well, the question is I really would like a second stable, so I'm contemplating just discarding both of my actions and just buying a stables. Yeah, let's actually do that. So I have, what, five terminals? <laughs> That's a lot. So I might as well buy an in here. It's basically a perfect time to buy it. There is all my, all the things in the discard. Yeah, that's, that's just better than getting another stables. So, what do I pick? The inn for sure. I need to be aware that if I take the stables, I also want to have a copper in hand, so. Yeah, but the inn draws me two cards, so I should be fine if I take, like, inn, trading post, stables, just those, or one of the rangers as well. I don't think so because I want to play. Ah, okay, maybe. Maybe I get also one ranger. I mean, I might as well discard if I don't like what I draw here. So he also got a mint. I kind of missed that. When, when did that happen? Um, oh no, the, the goons is of course quite annoying. I guess I discard. Hmm. So again, no trashing for me, maybe? He didn't get a mint, what am I talking about? I just saw all those coppers in the trash, but he just used his trading post. Um, 
compared to me, but I didn't even play it once. So, yeah, I guess I again can't trash here, I have to discard like that. So he trashed five coppers just with the trading phones, that's pretty nice. Why didn't I get to trash ever? I wonder. Alright, um, in. So I have to discard Mint and Ranger to draw, and then I pr hopefully draw another Ranger. Two even. Do I play the second Ranger even? What's left in there? Two silvers, right? Is it? Two silvers? Yeah, I need to draw. Okay, so I need to buy another silver. Ah, this isn't going all that well. <coughs> okay, here if I don't get attacked, I trash. I guess I trash mint and estate. I mean, to buy another stables. And treasures are not all that important. Even if you can mint some platinum, I mean later on I might get another mint, getting rid of my silvers, but for the moment I think it's more important to get the draw up and get a king's court. I need a king's court and a goons. All the good stuff. Yeah, so the stables, um, we both have three of them, we both have an inn. He has the goons and the king's court, and I have three rangers and the mint. And he has two estates, and I have all three estates. He has two coppers, I have one copper. Yeah, I guess he attacks me here. I guess I discard state and. Mm. Yeah, so he draws his stack. He has four stables and I have two, so I kind of lied there. Mm. Yeah, so let's, let's discard state and ranger. Yeah, so he's ahead here. Maybe that min turn shouldn't have been a min, but rather a goon, so it's possible. Guess you should just get like King's Court goons or double king's court, one of the both, I think. One of the two. <coughs> so he has six silvers. Yeah, his deck is just much better. But this might be a long game, so there's always a chance that something goes wrong for him. <coughs> Stables, King's Court, yeah, that's also fine. Yeah, and I don't get anything done ever. He will attack me here again. Most likely, and I yeah, just don't get going. <clears throat> it's pretty much resignable. But of course, I won't resign yet. Maybe I'm a bit on the late side as far as resigning is concerned, but I rather think that some people. Resigned too early, and I have won games that I, um, I guess other people would have resigned, and there was some strange things happening. Of course, it also need, uh, you need your opponent to make some mistakes, but it can happen. So I don't mind playing on for a bit longer. Um, even though here. <laughs> I might as well not. 
So I guess I need to trash it some... Oh wait, that was wrong, I just took the wrong cards. Um, that's not, not what I wanted. Um, what do I want? Like that, I guess. Doesn't make any sense. I will only play either Trading Post, post or Ranger here. Because my... Is there another Staples in there? There is, right? But the, the Inn is in the discard. Yeah, well, I have no idea. It doesn't matter. <coughs> okay, that was stupid. Okay, I... <laughs> uh, let's just resign. Talking about not resigning too early, right? And then, but okay, that was pretty much over. And it was also my start, which is a bit unfortunate for me. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, if I hit seven there in the turn where I bought that mint for six, then I guess I get a king's court. But with the six coppers, it was so tempting to. Um, to get that mint. Yeah, I did. I did get hit five turn, uh, turn three. So I'm not sure that was the problem. Anyway, it's all good. All right, we have the theorem again with the bandit fork. It's not the greatest. Again, it's a pretty powerful board, and again, it's a colony board. So, this time there's also... Yeah, okay, not the best trashing, but some decent trashing. I guess I'm gonna open cut per silver. Mm, and then go from there. First five is the question if it's a replace or a wharf. Leaning towards wharf. Get the replace later. Yeah, you don't really need all that much. I mean, Bandit 4 doesn't matter. You just get, like, the money you need, and later on there will be kind of infinite points with Groundskeeper anyway, so don't really have to pay attention to that all that much. guess eventually you want to print a Fortress, ideally. Play lots of Wharves, lots of Groundskeepers. Hope they don't cut pursue to make you miss five. That might always happen, especially as a second player. Like here. Mm. Hopefully not. So what do I get if I don't get attacked? I don't get attacked. Which is nice. So he gets a replace. Yeah, I can certainly see that you can replace. First of all, you can replace estates into fortresses, and later on, you can replace fortresses into nobles or wharfs. So and that's pretty nice because the fortress doesn't even get trashed. So I guess I change my mind there and also get replaced first. Here, I guess he attacks me, and I wonder, should I get, I guess I get a second silver, it's too early for changing. Sometimes you want to get the changing and think, yeah, cool, I can double my replace or whatever, but you don't draw them, so, so it looks like, ah, no, it's not militia. I was gonna say, it looks like he has five coppers in hand, but the copper discard is just automatic. Because if you have five coppers in hand and the opponent plays militia and you discard instantly, then they know that it was five coppers. I don't like that. I think you should still 
have to click on the coffers. <clears throat> so here I guess I get... So he's taking those fortresses, it's troublesome. But I need to get a wolf here. Wolf over nobles, I'm pretty sure. And my replacement is the shuffle. And I get attacked. Yeah, so I get my fortress here. It's okay. Yeah, and here. I'd rather play the replace, I guess, and do a scouting party. Replace top deck and fortress. <coughs> I need to watch out not to fall, fall too far behind on the fortresses. I only have one. Wait a second. Done reacting? Ah, uh, okay. That was a change in question, okay. So, do I even get the scouting body? I guess I do. Okay, not the greatest, no estate in there. Mm -hmm. Do I keep the silver or the fortress? I might as well discard both fortresses. To be more likely to hit five again. It cycles a bit slower, but it's more likely to hit five. So I get a second wolf here. I guess you get lots of wars before you transition into Quran's Keepers. Yeah, okay, so he gets an expand, okay, over prince, that's interesting. Second dwarf. <clears throat> so if he attacks me, I get a fortress, and if he doesn't... Okay. No need to think. So he is moving along pretty well with the... Replace. Okay, expand is nice to trash fortresses, of course, but basically it's the same with repla replace. is just better, right? Because you just want to trash them into wharfs and nobles anyway. Um, so fortress. That looks like a decent turn for once. I certainly play the wharf and then just replace. I guess I have to get the remaining fortresses here. And do I? I mean, nobles is also a village, but it's not the greatest. Um, So I have four fortresses to his five currently, right? I need to check that. Because I didn't pay attention, so... 
yeah. So, hmm. <clears throat> Is four fortresses enough? I wonder. Alternatively, I I get a wharf here. I have two wharfs incoming, and it would be cool to play another one next turn for sure. So four fortresses. That's five terminals. I mean, I know that I can get the nobles and so on, and what I also kind of forgot right now is that there's prince, and so at some point if I prince a fortress, that should be fine, so I guess I get the wolf here. Yeah, I don't like his expand. Uh, I mean, with seven maybe, but he had eight, right? So why not just get the prince? Copper interchangeling, okay. <clears throat> yeah, and he gets the last fortress. So no war for me, unfortunately. Eleven. So, 11. Either I get my prince now, like prince changeling, I will be able to use changeling for wolf most likely. How does it work with the prince? Can you changeling for a prince? <clears throat> Is the prince in play at the start of each turn? Play that action. <clears throat> Huh, I'm not sure about that. Because, I mean, it looks like it is in play, but from the text... <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure there. Um I ask him <clears throat> it kind of reveals what i'm what I wanna do, so I was hesitating if I should ask him, but Um, all right, just got a message, thanks, Sammy. So he says, Prince is not in play. Yeah, that's somehow what I thought, but it just looks like it, you know, it gets, it looks like it's in play from how it is um, implemented. But it doesn't say so, like for example, hireling this stays in play or whatever. Okay, um. Yeah, I guess I still get the prince. <clears throat> prince changeling? I mean, alternatively, like wolf and nobles, but changeling is basically, basically a wolf, so. Let's do that, and also I have um, Fortress Wolf upcoming next turn, so should be fine. And then at some point, might be the time that you get some groundskeepers. Could also get a second replace actually, replacing those fortresses into groundskeepers, making it a bit more uh, more convenient to get those. <coughs> I 
get C replaces the fortress now, yeah, into what? And nobles is also nice because you hand out curses. <coughs> I guess you should aim for that, first of all. It's a bit unfortunate that I only have four fortresses for that, and one will be set aside, most likely. But okay, three should be fine if I have enough draw. Yeah, so nice play there for him. He can gain and play the wolf. Yeah, three wolves. That's nice. Okay, I do have the prince, so I guess that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, he can probably uh, use his changeling for another war for another replace. Yeah, that's a pretty good turn for him. Okay, no changeling, fortunately for me, but still, it's pretty nice. So here, I guess I have to re um, play the replace first. Do I guess? Do I really get the nobles just for the curse? <clears throat> I guess I do because pipes are all also kind of low, so. Attacking him here a bit seems useful. Also, he's um, about to reshuffle, so putting a curse in his deck should be a good idea. Alternatively, it's just another wharf. <coughs> mm. Yeah, but let's get the nobles. Okay, that's a bit of a sad prince here. Um, <coughs> I have eight, eight and two buys. Thinking maybe changeling wharf. I don't think I want a second prince now. Is it? Is it? Um, do I need to scouting party here? I don't think so. I think war of changeling sounds fine. So one war of incoming. I guess I draw another one. <coughs> Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate that I that my prince whiffs. <clears throat> so what's the changeling situation? I do have two, and so does he. <clears throat> Yeah, so he curses me here as well. It's pretty nice to replace fortress into nobles. Nobles goes on top of your deck and you hand out a curse. It's really strong. He does it again, I guess. No, he gets a wharf this time. Yeah, and he gets through his deck again. That doesn't look good for me again. <clears throat> Maybe if he isn't careful with the, with the piles I might do something, but <clears throat> other than that I'm in trouble. Yeah, so maybe the prince was a mistake, considering how fast this game is going. 
Maybe it should have been just War of Nobles. Yeah, but I think the changing was, was fine. Was fine. <clears throat> so, what should he get? I guess the last dwarf. Like, dwarf re replace, maybe, or dwarf groundskeeper. Okay, see, so he's a bit scared, it seems, that I can pile somehow, which isn't. Oh no, he does get the dwarf like that, okay. Yeah, so six changelings. Mm, I guess that's a bit much. I mean, I do have two changelings, but I can't get changelings with them, right? Uh, oh, I can, I can. I can get something else and then exchange for changeling. I can do that. And then I can replace. So let's see what I draw here. First of all. Okay, nothing. No more fortress, unfortunately. <clears throat> So, I guess I have to play the second dwarf. <coughs> mm, but then I can't use my changeling. What else can I do? I can replace the dwarf for nobles. That's. Nah, I think. I think I need the. Def delayed draw. Yeah, and of course I draw my prince dead again. So the piles are running. I need to... Yeah, but I can't really buy anything useful here. I guess I just have to scout him probably twice. And I can't even use the changeling here. That's super annoying. <coughs> yeah, so I guess just scouting party once, right? <coughs> Sorry about my voice here. Yeah, I don't think I want to buy an estate. And I can't play my changeling effectively. Yeah, it's just all pretty bad. <coughs> so he might be able to pile now. And to be honest, I think he, he should. And even if he doesn't, I mean, he's so far ahead now. He already he got his two crowns keepers in play before uh, replacing the fortress too. So that doesn't doesn't look good. <coughs> Yeah, I'm not sure that I did anything wrong here. Yeah, maybe the prince, but I think it was fine. <clears throat> so I guess he can't end it yet. Because he doesn't have a changeling anymore, I have the two, right? But he really doesn't doesn't need to end it. He he has three dwarfs in play again. So can just do whatever. Buy more crowns keepers. Buy more nobles for safety. <coughs> I guess I didn't change the score here. It's a bit late for that, but I might as well change it to O2. Not yet. <clears throat> so I guess he's looking for a pile out. What would he need, like... Yeah, doesn't have 18, I don't think. 16 with estates, but... Ah, uh, okay, here's another... 
uh, uh, expand then I don't know how much money he has he doesn't have that much money right <coughs> Yeah. But okay, he has four wolves in place, so I'm totally busted. So I guess, yeah, just get the nobles. His points lead is too big, so. And he, he won't die. This. But I guess we can just play it out, it's just one more turn. <clears throat> so hmm. yeah, so it's twenty one points that's it's just too much too much I mean I can get um. The nobles with my changeling, changeling replace silver into a duchy and buy a province. So that's six, um, nine, and five. Fourteen points. I can. I mean, I can get thirteen, but he gets a curse. So uh, fourteen points, and then two more. Because I trash the silver, 16 points. That is not enough. Um, no way to improve on that, right? Mm. Yes, okay. Let's just. It doesn't matter, let's just do that and then he he'll pile out. <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, if he doesn't score that much then I then I do have a shot, but <clears throat> he did and then and my prince just was a complete waste of money in this case. So before I forget that again, I'm just changing the score while he makes his last turn. At least the games are quick. Okay, no, what's going on here? This cultist. Mm, there's also a vineyard, which is always interesting with cultists. I, st I think you still go for them. There are lots of cheap action cards in Patrician and Candlestick Maker. So I guess vineyards is, is the way to score here, but first of all we have to build and we do that by opening forager, forager, and then double silver or silver patrician. Patrician doesn't do anything for you at the moment. Might be nice later on. Might also just be double forager. Double forager doesn't doesn't hit five. That's a drawback. Huh. So what about double silver? It should get 
it should get to five. I'm not a big fan of the second forage, or I'm not sure. Maybe I am. <laughs> Because you can at least you can buy those tools even if you just trash your hovel or whatever. Um, you can always get the silvers later. Yeah, that's interesting. The two silvers is just nice to hit five. I guess I do get the silvers. I'm not sure how good that is, but <coughs> also you increase the chances of your forager missing the shuffle like that because you have 13 cards in back. But okay. Here I get the second forager though. Could also be a mining village. But I like the I like the forager a bit better. I mean, is there a point to just ignoring cultists, taking up all the villages, and then using them for vineyard points? I wonder. <clears throat> uh, not sure about that. So let's see what he does with the four. He follows, gets two silvers. So let's get a second forager, as I said. Um, okay, don't hit five. Hmm. Miss one, one silver misses the shuffle. So what do I get here? Okay, it's a nomad camp. So do I need this necro? I don't think so. I guess I'd rather trash it. And buy third forager. Attrition. Don't I don't need more silvers at the moment, I don't think. <coughs> A patrician, as I said, doesn't do anything. Um, I guess I still get it, or should I get the candles? Nah, candlestick maker. Uh, let's just get a nothing card. <coughs> I hope I hit five this turn. And I guess I do get the cultist. He does. He doesn't. Okay. He. Ah, oh, come on. So it looks like he's aware of the vineyard thing, and he doesn't mind if he gets all the ruins. Hmm. So the ruins will run rather quickly like that. There's also city quarter which um make the ruins a bit weaker. Mm, the real question is will I ever hit five? Uh, I'm wondering if I if I do get wanna get cultists then I probably get a mining village here. I mean, I might as well get a Nomad Camp to kind of ensure or increase the chances of hitting 5. Maybe that's the thing to do. It's also a buy, and you need a buy sooner or later. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Let's get a Nomad Camp. So I do hit 5, finally. It's actually 6, so I could also get a higher link. Hmm. 
And again, I, I don't like my draws here somehow. I have to treasure copper. Second forage shell down there. I mean, it's not it's not super unlucky or anything. Just think it could be a bit better. So do I get a hireling here? I wonder. Yeah, the thing with the ruins really is, I mean, they will run, and then the labs will probably run, and then they can score so easily with the vineyard. I guess I get a hireling here. <coughs> it's slow, but yeah, it's nice that I draw it right away. Can't complain about that. <coughs> And then I guess I buy another patrician. He has three laps to my zero, so he's again pretty far ahead. He has trashed Havel and Overgrown Estate, and I have only trashed Copper and Necro. Second Copper now. Mm, okay, let's get a second patrician. <coughs> So at least I have the hireling, that's one good thing. But here I don't think I want to get a second one, or do I? I mean, I said I still want to go for cultists, but I'm not sure anymore. Vinyar is just so nice against that. I guess I guess I don't then. I mean he or he also has two foragers so he can trash the ruins if he wants to. I mean if I hit like five on turn two uh three or four then I guess I'd go for a cultist, but now I think it might be a bit late. So a hiling is just basically like a lab, right? <clears throat> lab at the start of your turn. So I might as well just get a second one here. <clears throat> and then yeah, I want to get lots of Cheap action cards. I want to get more patricians, and then I guess with the hirelings, it's also pretty nice to get some city quarters because your starting hand is already seven cards or however many hirelings you have. So I hope I draw like another crap here to trash it with a forager. Okay, I draw two cards. So. Ideally, I draw my overgrown estate. <clears throat> Let's see if he gets second hireling. He could also get like triple patrician. I wonder if and when I should get a city quarter. I'm not thin at all yet. Yeah, so he gets a city quarter now. Okay, can trash two coppers. So I could do the triple patrician. It doesn't really do much for my deck, but it's three action cards. So I guess I do that, and then my next buy will be a city quarter, I think. Like here, there's another hireling in there, right? <clears throat> so if I draw that, I play that, of course. I don't. Okay, and here I can get something like Lab City Quarter. That sounds useful. 
Yeah, let's do that. Go into depth. That's okay. Yeah, so he almost draws a stack here. here. Maybe he does with the city quarter. I like having all the patricians, but he has three labs and like, he's a bit better trashed, I think. <clears throat> I didn't, didn't get to trash my hovel nor my overgrown estate yet. <clears throat> I also want to get some, nah, not some, maybe like one or two candlestick makers, and then it's time to get the potion soonish, I think. Or you build a bit more and then get like double or triple potion, it's also a way you can do that. <clears throat> So three buys and eight. He could get another city quarter, but I'm not sure that he really needs it. <clears throat> With the four labs and one hireling in play now and one city quarter already. Okay, he goes for the points. That's okay. He does get a second city quarter. I mean, it can't be wrong, but so I guess I play the lab first. So I have a nomad camp on top. So I guess I don't play my patrician. Um, I'd rather play the hireling. <clears throat> Alright, I forgot that I'm in debt, so let's pay some of them. So that looks like a decent turn coming up. Yeah, so he draws his stack like easily now. That's what I meant with uh, maybe not needing the city quarter. <clears throat> yeah, maybe those two hirelings were bad, I'm not sure, because there is, with City Quarter you, yeah, I think it's okay, with City Quarter you draw, it's like so powerful, but, um, plus two cards at the start of your turn helps out there, in that regard, so. So I wonder how to continue from here. I need, I need more economy. I mean, I need economy to buy action cards, not to buy provinces, but I want to buy lots of action cards. Also just, yeah, like all the candlestick makers, for example. And then some more city quarters, and then you would just draw and you have like 30 action cards or whatever. Let's see if he gets a potion now already. Or another Emporium or something. So he has nine action cards in play, I think that's... And he has two more labs, so he has 11, 12 now. So already vineyards are at four, and they will go much higher. <coughs> So, city quarter. Hmm, why can't I draw some more here? Oh, I can, nice. <laughs> so, guess I trash the hovel. So, let's see how many action cards do I have. Just 
that's not all that important yet, but 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, okay. I have four buys. It's a bit greedy <laughs> to get four candlestick makers, but it's, it's funny. Don't think I'm gonna do that. Mm. I mean, silvers aren't aren't great for the city quarters, but they are economy and they are cheap. Mm -hmm. I don't really care all that much about the Emporium points. I mean, okay, it's a peddler. It's okay, but... I rather would like to get more action cards into my deck. So I only have one lab in the city quarter. I am not guaranteed to draw everything at all. At all but <clears throat> yeah, how to do this here? I'm also pretty thin now. I have only four treasures remaining. I don't want to get a potion yet. It slows me down. <laughs> Could be like uh, triple candlestick maker city quarter. Is that feasible? Yeah, the that that chances are are real then. How many stop cards do I have then? Like two foragers, nomad camp, three candlestick makers, six, and four treasures, ten. That's a lot. Also, it's just probably too greedy. But I think I want one candlestick maker, maybe. Do I want to get a gold? I have one free terminal, so I can get a nomad camp. I don't like that it goes on top. Mm. Could get Emporium Candlestick Maker City Quarter. I don't need the City Quarter. It's too expensive. Um. Okay, let's get... Hmm, yeah, sorry, this takes forever. <coughs> yeah, let's let's get Emporium Candlestick Maker. <clears throat> and this looks like I will draw my deck again with a silly quarter in starting in starting hand. If I want to load up on those candlestick makers, then I also need to get more city quarters. So I might do that this turn. I have now, if I draw it all, I have 10. Could be like... Hmm, three candlestick makers, potion city quarter, for example. I think it's... you need a potion at some point. Question is when, but I think ne my next one should be a good time. Get one potion and then maybe another one in the next turn. Let's see if he gets some candlestick makers now. Now that I got one. Yeah, now I like my two hirelings, of course. So he has ten and four buys. And his hand is 
poof, two labs and something. And a city quarter. <laughs> That's a lot of draw. So maybe he adds, he adds more economy now with silvers, maybe? Uh, just double. Yeah, I'm fine with that. You can have those. <coughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Just buy the ruins. Especially for him it's a good idea, he has lots of draw in two city quarters. Hmm. Maybe I should have done that differently, so... Rather... Nah, yeah, I think play the patricians first. And then towards the end play the Emporium, so there's a chance that Lab just stays on my deck. On top of my deck, deck, that would be better. <clears throat> so I do have the 10, 10 and 5 buys. I kind of like the triple candlestick maker potion city quarter. Mm. I don't get the ruined market as um, additionally to that. Three candlestick makers is risky enough, I think. So. Maybe it's just too risky. I mean, I only have one city quarter in one lab. Okay, I do have two hirelings, but. Yeah, okay, and I have five patricians. That's also something. So I, I guess I just do that. Potion. Yeah, and I guess I need to get the city quarter here. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty nice. <coughs> Perfect, basically. So, I'll buy a vineyard this turn. How much money do I have now? I have 13 theoretically, so I have to pay off 8 debt, so I have 5. I can buy like vineyard potion. And then that's the question if I get the ruins. I could, I could like vineyard, vineyard potion, three ruins and a sea quarter or something like that. Yeah, might be too risky getting the, getting the ruins. It probably is. And of course we also have to watch uh, the piles now. <clears throat> so I guess he gets a potion now of his own, maybe even two. So I have lots of buys now, so he also has to be careful with the piles. <clears throat> Maybe I have to trash a silver next turn? Yeah. Ah, I guess I should have bought one ruin at least so that I can trash that. That was, that was kind of stupid. And he also just bought them to trash them. I, I thought he would buy them to, to use them for a vineyard, but yeah, it was kind of stupid that I... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I have to trash my silvers then, probably. Yeah, so double potion, double potion, double candlestick maker maybe. And it's super bad, I should have bought a ruins too, even. <clears throat> okay, but I don't have, I also don't have to play my foragers. And maybe it's also okay to get rid of the silvers now that my deck gets kind of messy with all those candlestick makers. 
Yeah, okay. So, let's draw first. There's the lab in hand. There's nothing I can usefully top deck, I don't think. I also have the second city quarter, so I just draw it all. And then. Do what exactly? <laughs> so let's see how many buys does he have? He has two foragers, so that's three, and he has two candlestick makers, so he has five buys. And here's a nomad camp, so that's six. Um, looks like he has six gains. If I'm not missing anything. So I might lower the piles to seven. That could be an idea. Could also lower them to six because he needs to um, buy vineyards as well. So actually, I'm not all that unhappy that I have to trash my silvers here. I mean, I don't have to, but I, I think it's okay. And then repay the debt first of all. So as I said, yeah, I can lower them to what I said if I buy the ru the ruins. So now, how many actions? Two, four, five, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, eighteen. I guess. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So what did I say? He has six gains, right? Six gains. So I'm still in depth, so I need to, to for sure um, take one token to repay one damn. And I can't get a second potion. Yeah, so I should have trashed a patrician. That was kind of stupid. Should I request an undo? Yeah, let's 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 try. It's a bit sad to trash one um to trash an action card, but um I need to I think I need to get a second portion. What am I doing? I don't need to I don't need to trash at all. <sighs> Why do I have to undo it so many times? Alright, so he was nice enough to um, grant my undoes. But ah, I guess I'm a complete moron, right? I have seven. Yeah, I need to trash that. Some of them complete brain fart there. So anyway, eight that and then I need to take three tokens and then I can buy the vineyard potion. 
weird. Potion. So when I said he has six gains. Um three, four, five, six. And I have um five, six, seven, eight. So if I get like hmm, the thing is if I get like four ruins and the city quarter, then I won't be able to afford um four candlestick makers next turn. And if I get four ruins without a city quarter, I run the risk of dudding. Mm. I guess I get two ruins for sure. I need them for the trash, if not for anything else. For the forager, I mean. <coughs> So if I get two more ruins here, then I then I am threatening the pile out next turn. It's a bit risky, um, for sure. But I have eight gains, right? I have four candlestick makers. It's five, six. Do have the eight gains? Do I have eight money? I also have eight money for first. Um yeah let's let's do that. Let's do it like like this and then I can't afford the city quarter, right? So um let's just hope I draw like I always did. Nice. So I hope that sh yeah, I'm not not wanna call it yet, but Looks looks okay, I think. No, it doesn't. I I botched it again. Because of course I do have eight gains, but I can only empty the piles, and I can't I can score on top of it, so I can't win next turn. And I guess he should maybe get a third potion even now. Yeah, so maybe I should have bought two more ruins. But as I said, I mean, I might as well that then. The good thing is that um, he has a hard time getting vineyards and action cards. Because then that um, just opens up a pile out for me. Like he can't buy ruins, I don't think. And that's pretty good for me, I think. <clears throat> so, what's the action card count? We are kind of similar. I have two more candlestick makers. And and I have four ruins at the moment, two is zero. So that's six more action cards I have. I think he has one more lap, but I have one more hireling, so yeah, should be up six action cards here. <clears throat> yeah, so what does he do here? I guess he gets two vineyards for sure. And then there are five left. And then if I get two, there are three left, <laughs> and which means maybe he should get a third potion here. 
because then if I do get to two, um, he would win the split five to three, which is a big deal, I guess. Maybe I can make up for it with the uh, amount of action cards. Yeah, but as I said, the good thing is that he has a hard time getting more action cards this turn into his deck. Unless he... Yeah, he hopes for it that. I mean, I have the City Quarter in hand, which is nice, but I'm still not guaranteed to draw on my deck. All of my deck. Yeah, I draw two cards from Hyling and so on. I, sh I should be able to, but never know. Yeah, the good thing is that I have basically only action cards in my deck now. I have one silver, two potions, and a vineyard, and the rest should be action cards, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> I guess he also has to trash his silvers now. I mean, he doesn't have to, but uh, those are his only targets. Or oh, action cards, of course, which you don't really want to do. <clears throat> yeah, so it's a tough spot for sure. Oops, I just, I just thought that he did resign, but it's just asking me if I want to make him resign. So tempting. Not really. <clears throat> yeah, so what should he do? I think he should get... Potion, double vineyard, um, one candlestick maker, uh, can he even get one? I'm not sure if he can afford that because of my, yeah, he can't, he can't do that. Trash is a lab, okay, that's pretty interesting. So he only has six buys, right? So I'm not missing anything here. <clears throat> Why would you trash a lab? I guess he wants to... somehow his silvers are important, so what does he want to buy? <clears throat> okay, so maybe he doesn't trash a lab. Trashing a lab is a bit, it's a bit crazy. Does anybody have a ruined market, by the way? So I just bought one in my last turn, so I have, I have nine, I have nine buys. That's good to know might actually play a role here. Yeah, I think it, that means that if I draw everything, I should win. So let's look at his BP, if he buys action cards, if they jump or not. I mean, he can buy a province, of course. That's also a way to score. I forgot about that. <laughs> <coughs> Potion, province, right. No double potion. Double potion. I'm not sure double potion makes much sense. Because I only have two potions and um, one potion would have been enough to 
win the split anyway. So so if I draw, I win. <clears throat> so my vineyards are worth seven. Okay. Um So, play one patrician. I guess it should. No, I don't have any potions yet. Yeah, I need to draw my second city quarter actually. So there's the vineyard on top. That is bad. It's pretty bad. Um. Oh. Yeah, there's no difference uh, how I play my cards here. I mean, revealing a potion. <sighs> I guess I should have played the Emporium first. It's a bit complicated. To explain, so if I play the Emporium first and so what was on top playing a patrician revealing a vineyard. Play patrician, reading a potion. Yeah, whatever, I don't think it matters. But sometimes, um, as I knew that, for example, I need to find the lab, then the search space is better if you play the patrician last. But whatever, I. So I don't win here because I don't draw. So that is now trouble. But the same goes for him. He doesn't necessarily draw, but his draw is better with the four labs. He has one uh, nomad camp on top, which is good for me. But um, wait a second, I have the ruined library. I can play that, of course, first. Oh man, I'm such a moron. Do I have to undo here? No, I don't want to. Okay. Because I played those candlestick makers, which I shouldn't have. Um, so, I guess I just buy Vineyard Province. If he draws, he can get four vineyards, so I'm kind of busted then. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, unfortunate that my. I mean, there are three patricians, a city quarter, and a lab down here. That is. unfortunate. So, what do I do? <clears throat> mm. Do I have to hope that he does? Trash my silver, what's my money? Um, so I have one, three. I guess I trash my silver. And then I do I even trash one of those ruins. Hmm. 
replace it with a candlestick maker. Could do that. But doesn't make all that much sense. I guess it does. Let's trash the weird market. And then province candlestick maker vineyard. He still has only no now he has seven gains. So if I if I get vineyard and candlestick maker he can empty with four vineyards and three candlestick makers and that's enough points. So maybe I should just get Vineyard Province. Or maybe like Vineyard Lab. Mm. Hmm. Wait a second, did I watch it again? No, I didn't. I have I have eight buys if I play my root market, but eight buys is not enough, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, guess Vineyard Province. Oh, that sucks so hard. I would like to get more action cards, but it just opens a pile out for him. I can only hope that he doesn't draw all that well. So, Vineyard, which is six points only, okay. Province, so he has seven gains. I could get the city quarter. Probably should. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean of course that was kind of the risk with getting all those ruins, but it was threatening the wind, so yeah, maybe it was was too risky. So are the last two cards um, patricians? Didn't I say there are like three more patricians in there? Probably say two more patricians. So City Quarter will draw kind of decently. So he starts a turn with the City Quarter and another one. So he draws. Yeah, I should have gotten some ruins now again. I'm playing this game kind of badly. Yeah, I didn't want to get well, uh, them because he, I said he has seven gains, but if he spends all those gains on action cards only, um, oh no, sorry, <laughs> I was I was wrong. He can get four vineyards and three candlestick makers, and that's enough for him, right? So, was okay not to get. One of the two candlestick maker or ruin ruins, but now he can just empty the vineyards, and that's that's basically game. Just empty the vineyards and get all the ruins or candlestick makers. I mean, not all of them, but all all but one. You can even get a province with that, and then it's just over. Yeah, so his. Mm, lots of potions paid off because I didn't draw. Yeah. And the main story is four laps to one. That's just a big difference. Trash is a forager. Okay. So let's see. How many action cards does he have? Uh, we, we will see now from the from the points. 
so just four vineyards and province candlestick maker. I think it's just infinite points. So currently they are worth five for him. You can also get province city quarter to be um, the safe side. I guess it's what he should do. Now did he just jump? Now I failed to see it. I guess it didn't. 38. Now he did. Okay. So the question is, if I play the lab first, is my action density higher than a half? Yeah, I think it is. I guess I play the lab first. <coughs> and now I can trash my potions again. Guess I should play the survivors at some point. Uh, discard. Okay. So I'm also in depth, uh, which is annoying. So let's for a moment check combination cards. I have two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, fourteen, eighteen, twenty-one. That's nice, but it doesn't help. Doesn't really help. Um, yeah, I need. To, if I get three vineyards, I'm totally fine. But two to six, that is that's just too much. Okay, so let's check for a moment what I can do here. Of course, I have seven. So if I have eight here, does province in the no it doesn't win. So three ruins, that's that's only two points. <laughs> yeah, I busted. This is over. What do I get here? Um like Nothing, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's get one ruin village. <clears throat> yeah. So I already changed the score. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, you're 22 points ahead. I'm not sure. There's much to calculate, to be honest. <clears throat> okay. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm at one action card above the threshold. So I can get double province here. Um I needed to buy more action cards last turn. But I was so sure he would empty uh he would just win, so mm. So double province it's it's twelve points, I'm at thirty-four. Three more action cards. Thirty-six. Can't do much more than that, unfortunately. So the, the the forager is three, so I have six and nine nineteen. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's it's over anyway, so I might as well just End it here. Mm, yeah, too bad. Yep. Not enough. Okay, 3 0 in his start. We got the bandit for it again. Okay, trashing is exorcist. There is um, the only village is diplomat, which is kind of interesting. Both with minion and torturer, you will be able to activate it rather often, and that's also prince as a village. You would have to prince the wishing well or the diplomat and then discard somewhere in the turn or the widow wisp. Those are all pretty decent um prince targets. And we also got the groundskeeper again. So I guess you want to build here. You want to build with torture or with minions, I guess. The thing with torturer is that minion just has to keep one minion in hand and then they can discard. So I'm not sure how strong that attack is. Mm. I'll open Exorcist Silver, I think. Alternatively, Exorcist Wishing Well. But I guess Exorcist Silver is fine. <clears throat> and then I guess I, I go for the minions. 
another advantage of minion is that you don't have to rely on silvers and golds as your payload um, because of bandit fort so he does get the wishing well i mean it's of course that's what you want to have in the long run but i think one silver is is okay no, that sucks I get a wishing well and treasure copper here. Today doesn't seem to be my day. I also played a bit in the ladder, like six games or something, and I lost five, something like that. Okay, I played, I played against Steph, so that's no shame to lose against him, but still. So, he buys a silver, I get a wishing well. Crash a copper, hooray. Get another wishing well here. Don't want to get a second exorcist, do I? Maybe. Yeah, but I don't want to borrow here, that's the main thing. I mean, trashing an estate compared to trashing a couple of exorcists is just such a big swing. You basically get a lab, which is like 70% of the times it's a lab in the early game, and you kill a card which doesn't do anything, and trashing a copper is trashing one of your better cards, keeping more estates. It's just huge. No, I'm not complaining. <coughs> Then Brooks impersonation. Man, my computer doesn't even handle that on the clicks. <clears throat> it doesn't really help. I thought maybe that's the way to get better, like marking the lock and clicking all the action cards, but I don't feel like I. I'm enlightened or anything. <clears throat> so what's, what does he get for four? Maybe borrows. Funny thing with borrow and diplomat is that you can borrow just to activate your diplomat next turn. You don't even have to um, rely on your opponent attacking you in some way. So he does get a torturer, I think I get a wishing well. Would be kind of sad if he attacks me here already. Yeah, you see, it's just, it's just a lab, so this beautiful will-o-wisp. So I wonder what I do if he attacks me here. I guess I did just discard. <clears throat> what is that here? I sometimes get that just, just a random window. No, it's gone. <clears throat> Okay, so he hits five again.
I'm not sure if I want to get torturers. Yeah, I know he also switches to minions. So what do I wish for? I mean, most likely is the copper. So I guess I should wish for that. Real estate. Okay. Get a minion. <coughs> So here I'm guaranteed to get a, my first little wisp. <clears throat> because I either draw or wish for the exorcist. I must start a card. Uh, it's a copper or is it an estate? So here I shuffled. Just wishing well. That's stupid. So here I bought a wishing well, then I shuffled. Draw two copper, silver, estate, and wishing well. Play the wishing well, drawing my third copper, which is for copper but reveals the state. Uh, <clears throat> Sometimes I really don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> so I'm playing it. So that took like forever. Mm. Do I want to borrow for another wishing well? I don't think so. <clears throat> yeah, so here I have no trouble discarding. Okay, he has another minion. Just I guess what he should do. So um I, I want to attack him. But if I draw like maybe I don't want to attack him. He just played five coppers and a silver and a torturer. Yeah, let's wish for copper state, and I guess now I wish for the exorcist, exorcist, and if I find it, then I don't attack him. And if I don't find it, then I do attack him. Oh, okay, I can't attack him. <laughs> if he places diplomat here, that's annoying. <clears throat> Should I still discard? Yes, I should. Four coppers. Now I have to borrow. Or I get the diplomat. Mm. Yeah. Let's get the diplomat. Yeah, my last two cards were Exorcist Estate, right? So what if he attacks me here, which he will? I mean, I can discard and then just play the minion for money and get another Will-O-Wisp. Or I can... I mean, I will discard for sure here. That's pretty clear. The only question is if I play my minion for coins or for discard. <clears throat> I 
I would like to get rid of my states and with all those minioning going on, you are not guaranteed to pair up the exorcist with the estate on a regular basis. So, on the other hand, it's just another bad turn if I just do nothing, just trash, trash the estate to gain a widow wisp. Yeah, this game again feels like it's basically over. I just claim it all on turn 3 where I paired Exorcist with uh, no estate. <coughs> so attacking or trashing the estate. What do I get from my turn if I do attack? Not all that much. Mm, so he had three cards remaining in his deck. Were they good or bad? Played five coppers. I think they are rather bad. Probably has a minion in hand anyway. Mm, yeah. Let's just do that. Why am I at minus one and he is at one? Because we both have a silver, right? <clears throat> no, he trashed his silver, I see. Yeah, he trashed it for an imp. Yeah, that's a good idea. You don't need silvers anymore with the minions. Yeah, it's it gets a diplomat. I just get a I think why not another minion? Um, okay, play Diplomat, play Wisp, Wish Well, Copper. Yeah, funny is also that you you don't get attacked if you if your opponent plays a minion and you have a Diplomat in hand, then you just got down to four. And so attacking here doesn't really do all that much for me. I just want to buy a minion anyway, and I can do it right here. I mean, I could have digged for Exorcist and Estate, but I'll just buy the minion before I don't get anything. Now, I have to keep in mind, if you know that your next hand is is good, then you can also just borrow for nothing, just for not getting attacked. Or if you know that there's a diplomat in there and if you want to be sure to activate it, you can also borrow, as I said earlier. Um, yeah, discount here. Curses are really harmful here. Maybe I should have gotten a second exorcist early. Now when I look at my deck. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so there's a stack again, more or less. I wonder if you should get a capital at some point. I think I 
wouldn't do that yet. Uh, maybe. I mean, treasures are always a bit awkward with the minions. You're not guaranteed to have to play them at the end of your turn. But still, you kind of want the second buy. <clears throat> yeah, but I think just another minion is totally fine. So now it would have helped to pay attention again. Is it a minion by any chance? Um, I only have two minions, right? So it can't be a minion. It's I think it's an estate. I'm not searching for an hour. Yeah, okay, it was an estate. And do I borrow for a diplomat or do I just buy a wishing well? I guess I borrow for a diplomat in this case. <clears throat> um, I don't want to take curses, but I'm happy to see that he kind of does here. Um, discard my exorcist in a copper and hope just to get to five to buy another minion. <clears throat> so I have six coppers in my deck, so I guess I should just wish for copper. Five more in the, in the remaining twelve cards, but it's of course the most likely card by far. Nice. Can play this diplomat. Now maybe I should have played the other diplomat first, but it's okay. Mm. Yeah, let's play the diplomat first. I would have liked to get to Exorcist. Um which I can't because I just discarded it. So I wonder I just I'm just buying another minion here. So I guess I don't even play the minion because maybe that's pretty unlikely, but he just had a bad turn, so I guess he has diplomat in hand now. And maybe he had it in this hand last turn, but he couldn't play it because he would have activated it, but whatever, I'm just buying a minion. <coughs> So I have three minions. Two has five. So the split will most likely end up six four. Yeah, and I guess I do have to get the last one. I also want to get groundskeepers. But I think uh, getting the minions first is more important. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it isn't. Maybe we should have just, I should have just got double exorcist, get like, um, one or two diplomats, and then just lots of groundskeepers. I mean, buying provinces is not all that important if you have like all the groundskeepers. I hope he gets the province here. <clears throat> mm. yeah, I'm still not sure about the capital. I guess you kind of want one in his shoes. Mm, not sure if now, but I guess maybe why not now? 
now is as good as ever if you want to get it. <clears throat> okay, so he, so he does the preemptive borrow. Okay. And finds it. Okay. So in theory, I should again know what these cards are, but I don't. So let's just find out. Um. Yeah, I have to continue and trigger this shuffle, unfortunately. I think it's okay. He will probably attack me anyway, and so it doesn't really matter. And what should I wish for? Mm, let's just wish for copper. I am a minion. Yeah, and I don't do the borrow thing because I want to be attacked next turn. Or do I? I mean, that's one minion, but still, I don't mind getting attacked. <coughs> Mm, okay, nice. Another kind of dirt. I'd like to see that. It's my only chance of getting back into this game. Yeah, that's. Yeah, he did the preemptive borrow, but it came back to hurt him, kind of. So now I probably just get the last minion, and then we are 5 5. It's Nice. He's still ahead, but it's a start. It's pretty unfortunate for him that draw. He has five minions. That he doesn't draw one of them and okay, admittedly only only four cards, but still. He also has will o wisps. What's going on here? <clears throat> okay, he's thinking about the exorcist. Let's see. Uh, three steps. Isn't it like before the draw? I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Yep, okay. Look at those beautiful will o wisps. And now I just have to uh, I thought of, um, I should have thought about not playing the minion. Okay, it doesn't doesn't really matter. So I guess I discard here. Play diplomat. Play the wishing well, wish for copper. It was wishing well, and now I just take the coins and buy the last minion. Do I even do I even need to do that? Yeah, I guess I guess I need to. Treasure copper. <clears throat> so here I can react. And I will. Yeah, what I will be doing is just buying a capital this turn. Nothing else. To do here, of course, I would like to trash a trash of copper. <clears throat> yeah, I guess he will be able to buy like double crown skipper or something here. 
maybe. I guess you don't even want to print anything because that messes up your diplomat diplomats at the start of your turn if, if you uh, print like a wishing well or something. Um. Okay. I don't want to gain a curse. So do I discard diplomat wishing well or minion wishing well? Is it better to draw two cards or get two coins before discarding? I guess it's better to get two coins. <coughs> Yeah, so he can play his capital now. And <clears throat> Let's see what he buys. He should buy crowns keepers. I think. Just two crowns keepers. I could think about second capital, but I don't really think that's needed. Crown's Keepers, pay off all the debt. Maybe that's the borrow thing again. <clears throat> and to be honest, I'm not sure about the borrow thing because if you have Diplomat in hand, um, you can react anyway. So, yeah, just two Crown's Keepers, that's correct. Yeah, and I'm just, I mean, it's the thing that you have to do, but I'm just like two or three turns behind. So, but I don't see a way to improve on that play. Mm. So, last card should be known. Feels like a copper. Okay, coins. I don't have to discard here. I just um. What do I buy? Do I? I guess I have to buy the capital now. Even though, as I said, I'm just turns behind. But I, I just have to hope he dies again at some point. I'm pretty lucky that he died it twice already before. But yeah, let's get the capital now and. I guess I also trash the silver for uh, for an imp. Sounds better than trashing copper for nothing. So in games like that, you really wish that you had a gate um, deck tracker, right? With all those discarding and. <laughs> Crashing and the wishing wells, you would really like to know what's left in your deck sometimes. And I have kind of mixed feelings about the deck tracker discussion. Um, okay. On the one hand, yeah, it's the quest. The question is: Is memorization part of the skill of a good dominion player or not? And I'm not sure. I think rather not. I know that Donald is uh, strictly against that, like writing down stuff during a game and so on. But like, for example, if you play, let's say, a hunting party and you have to reveal your hand, what does reveal mean? How long do you have to show your hand so that you can be sure that everybody saw it? So, like, for example, in Magic the Gathering, um, the trading card game, you can just write down every, everything you see. So if your opponent reveals your hand, which which happens frequently, you just write down everything because you, they say it's not, you don't have to remember all the, all the things. And I think Dominion is kind of similar, like in the mechanics and so on, but here you have to remember everything. Now, to be honest, the client here, like, if there is a hunting party, um, no, not for hunting party, they don't show your, don't show the hand then. 
but sometimes they if you draw a copper with will o wisp or something, I think then it's flipped over, right? But it's a bit inconsistent somehow, I think. Yeah, just double groundskeeper. And I'm I have zero groundskeepers, right? So four is, is better than zero. I need to get two here of my own, otherwise I'm I mean I'm busted anyway, but um So here I just do for coins and then buy two groundskeepers. So is copper the best wish? I'm not sure. I guess it still is the best wish. Are there two more minions in there? Uh, I guess. Let's wish for minion. It finds it. And now let's wish for copper. It finds it. Nice. So I'm not even in debt after that. Double groundskeeper purchase. <clears throat> um, do I borrow? There's one more minion in there, and also um, a diplomat. Mm, maybe. So, one groundskeeper for sure. <clears throat> so, borrow groundskeeper or just groundskeeper? I guess because there's an. If there's a diplomat in there, then it doesn't matter, and I think it doesn't matter either way. <coughs> yeah, I guess the diplomat was in there, so. I hope that he gets a turn where he can only get like one uh, groundskeeper. <clears throat> I don't want to discard here because I probably won't get back to the capital, so I rather keep it like that and just buy two crown keepers, maybe draw some more economy. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, that is maybe changes my decision. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, you don't you really don't want to get curses in the deck. But I won't get back to that capital most likely. I can try, but and I guess I should. I I don't want to get curses here. Curses are horrible. So I just got like that. Yeah, so that looks like another. I mean, I always say double crowns keeper, but of course you can also start um, greening at some point. But he doesn't have the need. He's he's so far ahead. He can just continue building. I mean, he can get like province crowns keeper here if he wants. <clears throat> Ah, but he's only. Yeah, he should just get double crowns keeper. 
province would put him in debt too much. Yep. So maybe I should have taken the curse to at least make sure that the groundskeeper split a 6-4. So, I guess I wish for minion, maybe. Exorcist, okay. <coughs> so, there's already one minion in the discard, and I have to get some economy, so I guess I take the coins here. Okay. Um, so again, it feels like a copper. It's not. It's not a minion. It's not a diplomat. It's. An, mm, is it a wishing well? I don't think it's a copper. I have do I have all, all the wishing wells actually? No, he has. He also has a wishing well, so it's not a wishing well. Um, I discarded the groundskeeper. It's not an exorcist. Will o wisp. Yeah, the will o wisp. I forgot about the will o wisp. Um, okay, whatever. Yeah, nice. There's the, that's the capital. So, there again is one more minion. So I can think about borrowing. <clears throat> I guess I do that and I do that now. Not sure how much merit there is to that, but it's funny at least. And also, um, in this case, it was also kind of useful because I could pay off one more debt. <clears throat> So the groundskeeper split is 6-4, which is bad. He's a bit better trashed, but I'm also kind of thin. So our decks are pretty similar, but the 6-4 groundskeeper split is the main story here. <clears throat> I wonder if it's useful to get a ghost at some point. Doesn't really feel all that useful. Um, yeah, I discard like that. <coughs> so I guess he um, starts creating now. Is there any anything? Useful um, to continue building, I wonder. I mean, I guess you can continue, but how? I mean, treasures are not really all that great. I think you can just maybe you get a second exorcist and and then just a duchy like that. You can always uh, also get your ghost if you want to. Yeah, like get another exorcist to, to trash the um, victory cards that you buy. Sounds like a good idea. Other than that, I don't see the point of continuing to build here. The game takes kind of forever, right? 
we were kind of fast in the first games, but um, yeah. So I would get, I think, Tachi Exorcist, maybe. <clears throat> province, just a province and nothing can also do that. But yeah, the main thing um, you don't really need the provinces in your deck, you just need the VP from the groundskeeper, so you might as well just buy Dutchies. Okay, here against province Dutchie, okay. So now he's in debt at least. Mm, I guess I wish for another minion. Copper. Okay. So Hmm. Do I get back to that capital if I discard now? I mean the turn is also decent without that, so I guess I I shouldn't discard here. Let's just get Okay, I only have two groundskeepers in play, that is a bit annoying. So but I also have the exorcist, so I think this this hand is too good to, to toss it. Um Yeah, let's let's take coins, coins Capital Copper and then Mm. Could buy like a state exorcist. I mean, with only two groundskeepers in play, it's not really all that great. Could buy Silk Road exorcist. That sounds okay. <clears throat> I mean, I could also continue building more with another diplomat. That also sounds okay. Yeah. Only two groundskeepers in place, so why not? I mean of course the piles are then the diplomats are then kind of low, but yeah, let's let's just do that. So diplomat and I guess I borrow and exorcist five that. And the next turn, yeah, let's see what happens, but something like Silk Road Exorcist, uh, no, <laughs> I have two Exorcists now, but yeah, whatever, Double Dachi or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, but as I said, the 6-4 Crownskeeper split will will win him the game in the long run. I guess he trashes the Dutchie now for a ghost. I think that's what I would do. Um, the problem with borrowing preemptively is that the torture attack is stronger. Only if he doesn't attack me with a minion first, but um just got like that. Last card is a groundskeeper, I think. <clears throat> so let's see what he does here. He doesn't have much economy going. He had to discard a lot with the minions. I 
wonder if I should get torturous, <clears throat> but I think it's just too late for that. So does he just get province? I still prefer like two less expensive victory cards. Even double estate I think is fine. Even though he only has one exorcist, so yeah, province is of course also fine. <coughs> Can he borrows for province estate, yeah. Trash is duchy for ghost, is what I guess. Ghost is four, right? Yeah, it costs four. <coughs> okay. So the last card wasn't groundskeeper, but I am right that a slip split is 6-4, right? So, imp, groundskeeper, mm, what do I wish for, for, I guess, minion, finds it, okay. So here I feel like I'm not discarding again because I again have capital and exorcist with a copper in hand and I have at least three crowns keepers in play. Okay, that's that's not all four, but still I want to keep trashing my coppers. And yeah, and also I have the capital so So, what do I do here? So I have to pay off, I mean I don't have to, but I I will take six, six debt at the end of this turn. So I could take like Silk Road Estate, for example. Mm. Or double Silk Road. Silk Road doesn't get uh, doesn't get me ghost, so that's it's a bit inconvenient. I guess I get Dutchy Estate. Dutchy Estate. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mm, do I borrow? <clears throat> there are two more minions in there. One groundskeeper. One diplomat. I guess I don't have to. I guess maybe I should have because that also would have uh, I would would have been able to pay off all of my debt. But okay, whatever. Doesn't really matter all that much. Man, I would just love to have five crowns keepers. <coughs> So the torture attack will be a bit annoying again, I guess. Yeah, just discard and then discard with the minion. Mm, yeah, I guess I do react. Um. No, if it takes me for torturer, um, it's got the wishing well and I guess the diplomat. Oh, maybe not. Mm. Now let's actually do it like like, like that, keeping the diplomat. <coughs> Yeah, the only thing I can hope for is that his deck by buying all those provinces gets kind of bad. And he has some dirts and I can come back. 
So there's one more minion somewhere. No, he has, he's played all his minions. Okay. That's interesting. But he has some more, one more diplomat. Of course, I would like to somehow force a dirt. I mean, I can't force it, but if there's at some point a way to just avoid playing minions, knowing that he um, will have a bad turn. That would be great, but now he just drew basically his deck, so he has a clean shuffle. <clears throat> okay, and I guess he also has his ghost. I'm not sure, of course, what his last card is. If it's an action card, then his ghost will be will be nice. And if it isn't, then maybe he does he buys an action card. Maybe it is the ghost itself. What do I know? <clears throat> he borrows for yeah, okay, it is I guess he wants to play the torturer twice. Which is a bit annoying. But I can just discard down to one minion if I have a minion in hand. Oops, okay. Um, so there are three more minions. I need to make sure I have a minion in hand next turn. I mean, would be would be kind of useful. So top taking a minion. Need to play my groundskeepers. So I think there's one more minion in here. Yeah, but even if I draw them both and I and I have a clean shuffle, then I hopefully have a minion in hand anyway. Top taking a groundskeeper. Yeah, so I might as well draw on here. <clears throat> so there's a duchy and an estate in there. I would like to get. Hmm, I would like to get to both of them actually. Maybe I do discard with, with minions. Now that's a bit awkward. I would have. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess I wish for Dachi because it's the better card for me. I can trash it to gain a ghost. If it's an estate, do I really play two minions for coins and then discard? Nah, I can't do that. I mean, I can, but Dachi, it's an estate, of course. Um, coins, coins. Yeah, that kind of sucks to have Dutchy Estate on top. It really does. So if I discard here, I have I draw Dutchy Estate, and then I draw two more cards of those uh, which I have in the, which I have in hand. So it will be pretty likely that I draw an one Exorcist. It would be fifty fifty that I draw the Capital. Okay, I think I I think I want to discount here. Okay, so I didn't draw the capital. 
Um, that's okay. Do we get a Silk Road here, I guess? Oh, borrow for... I don't want to borrow because I know there's crap on top and I want to have a, tort um, a minion in my starting hand, so... Just buy a Silk Road. Treasure Duchy for Ghost. Yeah, so that's my minion, nice. And he plays it twice, so I just discard twice. <clears throat> so I discarded an estate, groundskeeper and an exorcist. <clears throat> Yeah, the ghost is of course pretty nice for him now. Now um, that his deck gets a bit worse, the ghost helps out a lot. <clears throat> so it looks like he still has to discard. And he also has one more torture, I kind of forgot about that, but okay, so. If he gets to it, I just have to take the curse, of course. Yeah, looks like it. Like now, for example, he doesn't have any minions in re remaining. Oh, and he doesn't have the torture either. So his next turn is kind of crap, right? Okay, there's some yeah, of course I still have to play that and see what he does. Yeah, he can react, unfortunately. <clears throat> mm. So there's some groundskeepers. So I guess I wish for do, 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 do. I know that what it is discard again, I discarded Estate Capital Groundskeeper Exorcist. Estate Capital Groundskeeper Exorcist. I think it's a Kind of mixture of cards here, like one groundskeeper, one minion, one exorcist, one wishing well. Um, so I just name minion, wishing well, okay. So I have two groundskeepers in play, so I guess I have to discard. Um, so that should be... Hmm. Exorcist? Hmm, diplomat. Weird. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's continue. So, I have a minion in here. So I guess I, I don't discard here, I just take the coins. The capital. By Tachi Estate, maybe. Do I borrow? So Tachi. 
<clears throat> Man, this game is like it's taking just too long. Borrow a state or just a state. Need to watch this state pile. Just realized. Actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't take an estate. Just five more. Just five estates, and if he takes like two estates and only three estates remaining. Um. Yes, yeah, so I guess another duchy. Let's borrow then. Borrow duchy. Play. Yeah, counting is hard, right? So I have all my five minions in play. I somehow only saw four, so it's kind of bad. Yeah, but even if I knew, I wonder, do I really get a wishing well then? Not sure. Ah. I really wonder how long this game has been going going on. <clears throat> yeah, but I guess it will be over soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe just by double estate that would be kind of the fastest way to end this game, I think. I still was hoping that he does at some point, but it doesn't look like it's the case. Yeah, I need to take a curse. <clears throat> If he gets double estate, I think I resign. If he gets double duchy, I think I resign. If he gets province something, I might play on. <coughs> yeah, double duchy looks... Perfectly fine here. Oh, he has his ghost again, right? So he can also do like torture a duchy. And then I also resign. <laughs> Might as well just resign now, but let's see what he does. Just borrow. Diplomat province. Hmm. Yes, okay, that's that's enough. That's enough. <clears throat> so Yeah, so this is kind of terrible. I don't want to demote.
All right, what's going on here? Um, can replace this there again. A sauna, sauna, vanto. And there's the peasant line, so I guess you open peasant. Can also delay it, but no, you want to open peasant. You want to put training on sauna, I guess. Getting a sauna here is, doesn't really do all that much, except decreasing the chances that your peasant misses. What's the alternative? Silver, I guess. You can trash squires to gain more replaces. Or a replace at all, like with Sauna Silver. Trash a squire, maybe gain replace. I said you want to put training on the Sauna, but if you want to put the plus card from Peasant on Sauna, you also you need to do that first because you cannot put tokens on action cards that already have a token on them. So do I get a sauna here or a silver? I think that's that's the question. I guess I get a silver. Here I get a sauna and hope my peasant doesn't miss. <clears throat> and it doesn't miss. So do I get a second sauna or like two peasants? I guess I get a second sauna. And a third sauna here. Hope I draw my sauna or maybe in two with silver. That would be cool. Would also be cool if my soldier doesn't miss, which it does, it doesn't. Next turn I have two saunas in the silver, that's pretty nice. Fortunately I don't hit five here. So what do I get? Workers village? Maybe. Could also be a second peasant. Yeah, I want a second peasant. Disciples are nice. Mm. I also need to make sure not to fall too far behind on the Avantos. I want to get at least two if possible. So if you get the peasants here. Yeah, I still got the peasants. <clears throat> so in my mind there's still uh, the borrow here. I'm thinking, do I want to borrow for Navanto? But then I realize, no, I can't. Yeah, maybe that peasant was a mistake, I'm not sure, because now... Mm, yeah, let's see what I draw. But I probably can't trash two cards if I want to buy Navanto. Yeah, I think it was still okay. <clears throat> yeah, but I guess it should have been a second silver. Ah, but Two estates draw is, is kind of nice, even if that means that I can't get an Avanto. Still, still okay. So second silver. Mm. Yeah, let's get a second silver. So, my fugitive most likely misses the shuffle, unless I draw it with this sauna. Yeah, so 2-0 in the Avantos and he's a disciple already. 
and I don't fit five ever. Let's get hmm. what do I get here? Squire peasant. Yeah, whatever. I again, I feel like this is pretty bad here. A square peasant was maybe bad, but <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and he has he will be trashing yeah and, okay hopefully he uh luckily he didn't like disciple his Avanto. But he nonetheless has three, and I have zero. <clears throat> so it will be four to one in the Avantos. That is bad. That is really bad. Yeah, and he has his teacher down, so... Oh boy! <clears throat> yeah, maybe that one turn where I got the peasant, that should have been a silver, I think. I think that was a mistake. Let's see what he does with the teacher. I'm not sure. What should he do with the teacher? I'm, I'm not even sure. Yeah, so now he has all the Avantos and can't really do anything. Hmm. I guess I just played Giants now. <clears throat> Putting some token on Shine, I wonder what. I still need to draw somehow. I have three Thornas at least. See? Puts the action card in sauna. Why would you do that? <clears throat> the action uh, token. I mean, don't really see the point in that. Hmm. Yeah, the draw is my problem. So should I put like draw and giants? That would be kind of funny. And then get wishing, uh, um, fishing villages to support the giant place. Or should I just put the card on the sauna? I mean, as I said, I have three saunas and an Avanto at least. That's okay. And now he puts training uh, on the on the sauna as well. That's what I would assume. <clears throat> he also needs a buy at some point. You can also do that first. Doesn't really matter. You can also get a replace. Okay, he also gets a giant. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Um, so. Hmm. 
Glock is unit peasant or something. So hopefully I draw my Avanto here. I need to trash all of his saunas and avantos. That's what I need to do with the giant. <clears throat> I still think he should. I mean, he needs a die. Okay, he just gets another. Ah, okay, he just puts the puts by on shine. I see, I see. Yeah, that's my Avanto, Nice. Um. So I can trash. Pretty well here, it's helpful. So, what do I do? Just get another giant. I mean, as I said, I don't really have the draw for that, but at some point I will, so let's just do that. Um, yes, exchange for a disciple. So he calls his second teacher, and meanwhile I don't even have the first one on my mat. I mean, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I don't mind getting a curse. I much rather mind having to trash a sauna. Or even worse, my only Avanto. <clears throat> to be honest, I it's even kind of good for me. It cycles a copper and yeah. It doesn't matter if it's a copper or curse, basically. So he can just get more shines, I assume. <clears throat> yup, double giant. Squire, okay. Sauna Avanto, nice. That's how you do it. Just scream for it. Um, I guess I disciple the giant. And play my peasant. Let's see what happens here. He trashes a giant. I wanna trash your. I wanna trash your saunas and avantos. That's what I, what I want to do. So, oops. I need to undo that and trash some, trash my coppers, of course. And then. Get like workers village. Mm. Another workers village, I think. Keep that, exchange that. 
Yeah, I would have liked to, of course, um, get my teacher down last turn, but couldn't do that. So he will probably play his teacher for the third time before I play it my first time. That is interesting. Do I have anything good in here so that it gets trashed? Do I have a sauna in there, maybe? <coughs> It's copper, okay. And the silver, that's also okay. So I think I have um, three giants. And also three workers' villages. And four of the Sona Avantos. Still not sure where I should put my tokens <clears throat> I could think about not playing the workers village here ah but it's I guess that's stupid yeah it's stupid I only have one silver now, so and two curses. I'm not trashing as fast with only one silver. So what should we do here? He can buy the remaining shines if he wants to. Yep. Unfortunately for him, not enough for training. I mean, he could have done that if he um, didn't trash one copper. That would have been kind of good, I think. You know, you can put st put st um, the training plus coin token on one of those. It's just the other way around that you can't put tokens on with the teacher where there is already one. But now you can do that. I would have done that, I think. Just trash one less copper and put the training on. Sauna, I guess, for him. I mean, you also can just do that next turn with his teacher, so. But he also wants card. I guess he wants to put card on squire or something. So he lowers the squires. Oh, uh, interesting. If I draw my Avanto here, that would be. Would have maybe had a shot somehow at emptying the squires. So let's play the giant. Trash is a giant, okay. Unfortunately, I can't province here. That is unfortunately. Yeah. Mm. So what do I do? I mean, getting a duchy, he can still overcome that, so I think I have to kind of hope for a dud, which is like 0%, especially with the teacher on the mat, so I think what I do is I just put the training somewhere and hope he doesn't see the pileout or something. Put the training on. Put the training on. Here, maybe. <clears throat> so he should be able to pile out the squires here. You can put card on. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. 
And yeah, now it comes in handy that he has the action on the on the sauna pile. Still at that point I don't think that was the, the right token to put onto something. <clears throat> no, I don't have any silver left. Okay, it's getting better and better. But okay, it's just you can just buy the squires anyway, so. Matter and maybe I should have scored some points because he only has six buys, but I guess he could have done a squire for for buys, and then he would have been able to outscore me if I got like a duchy or something. <clears throat> so five o. Oh. Let's see if I can get one win in. Not very confident I can do that today. So another big board with lots of draw, there's also a village the trashing is a bit weak in necromancer and pseudo trashing with miser um, there's ritual which isn't really trashing so the miser is the eternal question for me, I never know if miser is good or not I guess okay, he has 5 2. I guess I open Silver Necromancer. Just trash blindly the top card and. Yeah. Maybe hit an estate to get a silver. Yeah, or you get going with the misers right away. But I don't want to do that. Could also be double silver. The fibers are so great that you really want them. There's also rogue, which is kind of funny with necromancer. So you can just gain the cards there, right? Are they any good? I don't know. So, but I get a necromancer. Let's hope he didn't draw his margrave. <clears throat> yeah, 5-2 I think is a bit better than 3-4 because the Margrave attack really hurts early on. It helps the opponent um, hit 5. Now I was lucky that he doesn't have it and I have 5 coppers in hand somehow, but in general it's Margrave is a good opener. And now I don't really care if he attacks me. Might even be pretty nice if I draw my necromancy because then there is state on top. That would be the best. Ah, come on. Now he's not happy that his Margrave mm, is bottom deck, but I think it was the. It wasn't bad for him because of my situation. Okay, it's only 50 50 that I draw the uh, um, necromancer, but. If I do, it would have been nice. So I get a village here, plus one card. Hmm. Next turn. Yeah, now he can attack me.
get the rogue already, okay. So I can steal those cards, but they are not super great. So what do I do with the necromancer? There's only one estate in here. I would like to hit five, so I'm I'm thinking that maybe zombie spy is my best option. Okay. Guess I just top do I top deck that? I mean there's also Margrave in there, it would be cool to draw that as well, but there's also an estate, so if I discard the copper and draw an estate, I'm pretty sad, so I think just play it safe and Buy a hunting party here, I guess. <coughs> uh, what happened? Wind's gift, okay. So I get another village here. Okay, next turn. That's a nice boon. I guess I use it and get another blessed village. <coughs> Down to three cards like that. Mm, yeah. I don't really need all that many blessed villages. So I wonder if I should even use the Earth Gift or not. I mean, there's still the Flames Gift in there, which is nice. But other than that, I mean, it's kind of tempting always to get the blessed villages, just because because of the boons. But if you're honest, then the boons aren't all that great most of the time. And maybe I should have discarded differently here, keeping a copper and copper and a silver and the hunting party and then discarding my silver with the um for Earth Gift because that would have made hunting party skip copper and I I'm not sure the blessed village is better than silver. Um Okay, it's basically only about the coin, but I guess I take that still next turn. Because I might have Margrave in hand without any glitches. This is of course pretty sad. So... There are two more... Um, states in my deck. Is that right? No, I don't think it's right. It's only one estate. So, okay, let's play a West Blessed Village. Good that I didn't decide to trash my top card. What did he gain? Which zombie is that? Ah, okay, so the trashing one. That is kind of annoying. Mm. I 
I should have done that differently again. Yeah, I should have played the Necromancer first and see what the top card is, because now if I play the Necromancer, then I trigger that shuffle, and I don't really want to do that, because there's the Margrave in there. On the other hand, there's also four Coppers, and an Estate. I also want to buy in another hunting party here, so that would also be in there, but I guess I still do it, because I can also discard, like, if it's a bad card, so... It's okay. Now I just get another hunting party. And at some point, I guess I do get some misers. Like next turn, maybe? <coughs> okay, so hunting party. Margrave. I guess I play the hunting party last so that I have a clean shuffle. Yeah, so my necromancer doesn't do anything anymore. Would be nice to put something good in the trash. Yeah, so I don't have enough uniques even anymore. Sad that I only have seven. Hmm, like miser. Miser now? Miser silver? Maybe. <clears throat> Yeah, let's do that. Not sure about the silver, to be honest, but... <clears throat> I wonder about treasure maps at some point. They also should be kind of good. I guess little maybe Miser is just a bit too fancy. So he gains the zombie spy, okay. Yeah, rogue was a was a funny funny thing with the necromancers. Not only do you gain the cards, but as I as I have a necromancer, um it gets worse and worse and now it's okay, it's zombie apprentice, I'm not sure I'll ever use that, maybe. He buys another hunting party. So I might use the zombie apprentice right here. Yeah, I guess I do, because then I have the mice in the trash, and um, it's just as good as having it in my deck. <clears throat> of course, he also can then just get a necromancer. Yeah, I buy another hunting party. Or do I buy gold? Nah, I don't think so. Hunting party should be fine. Okay, he trashes a hunting party, so that's cool. So now I guess I get a second necromancer for sure. <clears throat> That was kind of unfortunate for him, but if he paid attention, then he knew that there's at least one hunting party in the last two cards, so... Um. So now I have seven again if I put the copper on the mat. I hate seven. But I still do that. <clears throat> Go to mad. And I guess I just buy another necromancer. 
or should I just buy the straight up funding party? Now I think Necromancer is better because it's another unique. If I play the one of the Necromancers mid turn, then my hunting parties are a bit more likely to not just cycle through my deck, if that makes sense. <coughs> And the thing is, he will should should have gotten a rogue, I guess, because he will now just again steal those beautiful cards in the trash. And then I don't have a miser anymore. I guess I need to buy a rogue, and I need to buy a rogue of my own. It's kind of nice to have with the necromancer. So, I guess he just plays the Margrave. Maybe he can get like, <clears throat> decides if he wants to get Hunting Party or Miser first with the Rogue. Oh, gets an Estate Treasure, nice. Hmm, that's a bit strange. I don't think there was a problem triggering that shuffle for him. Mm, okay, just copper to mat. And then I guess I have to rebuy the miser because it will be gone soonish. I'm not too worried that I don't have that many hunting parties. You can always get labs later. <clears throat> so that looks like a decent turn again. No problem triggering that shuffle, I think. Maybe it was. Um What's in the trash? Misers. So let's just put put it all on the mat. Do I buy silver? I don't think I want silvers. Yeah, so four coppers on the mat, that's that's nice. Yeah, so I guess my payload will be miser only. I don't care about treasure maps, I don't think. Should I really discard the copper? I have four on the mat, so only three in my deck, so that means only one in this 12 cards. I might as well discard like that. Keeping one copper. Yeah, let's let's do that. So I can if everything else fails, I can just put another cop on the mat. So, I wonder if he gets a miser at some point too, because if he doesn't, he has to try to end the game rather sooner than later, because the miser will be too strong in the late game. Hmm. 
Yep. Right. Of course, he does it like that. Gets the visor, and he draws it right away. <coughs> yeah. I said he can in worst case put a my uh, cop on the mat, but now that the miser is gone from the trash, of course I can't do that. Maybe. I mean I can't do with the necromancer at least. And now I don't really want to rope anymore because all the good stuff is gone again. Let's just hope I draw some here. Mm. Mice, a hunting party? Nope. <clears throat> I guess if you buy like hunting party last village, then it's better to always buy the other card first because you might always find this moon's gift. So you can top deck your laboratory or your hunting party or whatever you buy. <clears throat> okay, so I draw the real miser. The real slim shady. Copper to mad, nothing else. <clears throat> so I have five coppers on the map, that is that is what I got going for me. He has all the hunting parties, I mean like not all of them, but seven or something. <clears throat> he has the rogue. Okay, he trashes a rogue. That's interesting. I mean, it was unlucky that it is the top card of his deck, but how can we make use of that? We can play Necromancer and then just gain the rogue, right? Play the rogue? Uh, play a face up non duration action card from the trash. Yeah, that should work. So let's play Just Village Margrave. Yeah, but do I even want the rogue? That would mean I also would need to get the zombie apprentice with my rogue play. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So I certainly don't want to get it here. I don't think so. That's my miser. Do I have any other unique in my deck here? I wonder. Because if not, then it might be useful to gain the rogue right now. <coughs> So it looks like I only have two hunting parties. Um, I have Estate Copper Silver, Plastic Village, Miser. So what are my remaining cards? Like one copper? I guess I do get the rogue now. I mean, does it work? Yep, it does. Okay, so... Yeah, of course I have two necromancers and I have three hunting parties, I can't count. But that's okay. I can still... 
um, draw it all here. Can I play the second necromancer somehow usefully? Don't think so. It's a bit annoying that if I play the rogue that I have to gain this annoying zombie apprentice. So put the sixth copper on the mat. Oh, okay. should I profit? Nah, don't want to profit. Not yet. Mm. Yeah, okay, it's it's okay. Gaming this zombie apprentice, I can use it in trash, maybe a necromancer or something. So now I have eight and two buys, and I guess I get blessed village miser. And the flames gift. Give me the flames gift. Um, or do I need more draw first? I mean, I've thinned all my copper, so and three hunting parties. Yeah, let's let's get a bit greedy and do it like that. And that's the flames gift, as I demanded. <clears throat> I mean, with the hunting parties, the states aren't. That harmful in your deck, but of course you rather would get rid of them if you can. I know I have six coppers in on the mat. I guess I need a third buy. It's either Markgrave or Capital, but I guess Markgrave is preferable. <clears throat> So just maybe I do win one one game. How cool would that be? Uh, guess I just got like that. <clears throat> so I still have one copper. I'm trashing a miser. I don't want to trash my miser. I can get it right back. So if it's flipped down, it doesn't matter, you can still gain it, right? Yeah, as, as we just saw with the, with the rogue. Play the rogue and I flip it down and it can still gain itself. <clears throat> okay, he needs to gain a silver, that's not the greatest thing. He also gets the third buy and the Margrave. So um. Yeah, just so do I get the miser here? I mean, hunting party won't draw it anyway unless I, unless I shuffle top decks it. I guess I just get it now. Okay, maybe that was bad because yeah, I guess it was bad. Um, yeah, I guess now I trash the necromancer. Because
because I want to play two misers. Copper to mat. Profit. I just buy. <clears throat> Margrave. Margrave blessed village. Yes, I have Warcraft. Yeah, that looks that looks okay. Do I want a free gold? That's a good question. It's for free. Hmm. Do I want a gold or not? I think I don't want a gold. Hmm. So at the moment I have 14. If I play two misers, plus 4, plus 18. It would be 21 if I draw everything. It would be double province lab. That's kind of, would be kind of useful. If I draw it all, of course, only. Um, Yeah, so 21 would be nice. 18 isn't all that useful. So, yeah, let's just... Let's take a free gold. I mean, it can't be horrible. <clears throat> now I'm ready to green. Discard. All the non drawing cards. <clears throat> yes, I think my advantage is. That I have the coppers on the mat, and that should be, in an ideal world, should be enough. Even though he has the seven three hunting party split, every copper that I have more on the mat is basically a hunting party. Okay, he can continue thinning them, but I should be able to double province. I mean, not every turn from now on, but once or twice, I hope. So what happened? He trashed an estate for silver, okay. Okay, it's a necromancer. Which doesn't do anything anymore right now at least. <coughs> so that means the rec the next rogue play will attack. What should he get here? Just a lab? Capital? Yes, five silvers. Okay. It's quite a lot of silvers. Um mm -hmm. nice, that's my mark rave. Otherwise I would have had to trash my necromancer, which I will be maybe doing anyway. So it looks like it I do get to twenty one after this. So
so that's 14, 16, 19, wait a second. So I, I can't count again, right? Why did I have, yeah, whatever, I have more than I thought. What's my last card? That's the first question. Do I need to draw it? No, I don't think so. I just play Rogue Double Miser. Um, see what I what happens. Okay, he can treasure free silver, which is basically good for him. Profit. Profit. Twenty three. For some reason, I only came to 21 last turn, so double province lap, I think, should be right. Last card was a blessed village, I think. <coughs> so, can he double province? Doesn't look like it. I mean, his deck can, I think. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's kind of bad. It's really horrible, to be honest. Uh. No Margrave, three blessed villages. I don't want to trash a miser here. So I guess what I do is just single province. Mm. What I could do is now what I'm talking about there, uh, the Zombie Apprentice isn't even there yet, so I can't play anything with the Necromancer. So let's just profit by one province and nothing else. Oh, come on. Please attack me here and draw me a blessed village. There's all the good stuff in here. One lab. 100 party, yeah, right, 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 right. Um, I don't want to play that Margrave. Do I? So let's check. There are two blessed villages in there. Um, and a lab and hunting party or something. So uh, I don't want to play this more brave. So let's. And yeah, maybe I yeah. What I what I will be doing is ritual. So I guess I keep the gold in hand maybe. <coughs> <clears throat> Would be kind of fitting if I lose this game too. I mean, he doesn't know that I have a dart, so he should be reluctant to double province. I don't think he can triple. Maybe you can just triple and end it, that would also be kind of funny. But I'm not sure he has the money for that. Maybe he does have the money for that. He has three coppers on the mat. He has like five silvers. Rogue. Ah, 
There's another Margrave, of course, so cool. My turn probably gets saved. Is there another silver in there? No. Let's discard the silver. I maybe should have discarded the gold still, but. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think he has 24. That would be a bit much. Seventeen. Yeah, so he just hopes for the dirt, but don't think that's gonna happen now. Hooray! Uh. <clears throat> Hooray! <clears throat> yeah, five five one is a pretty sad result. It puts me in danger of demoting pretty big. Alright, anyway. Yeah, interesting boards for sure. I'm not sure. Did I really play all that terribly that I had to lose 5-1? I'm not sure. If so, <laughs> just tell me. Because I'm not sure where I went wrong all that much. Alright, um, thanks everybody for watching, and see you around for the last league match, I suppose. Bye guys.